Hi everyone, welcome. Hmm, you're probably asking, hey, what's going on? There was a bin right here. In fact, there was a bin over there too. Well, the bin that was over there was just sort of storing castings. That's been emptied. Castings put in storage, been cleaned up. But the bin that was right here, it was one of my three older Red Wiggler bins that were all now over 300 days of age and foraging, preparing to get harvested. And, well, I spent a little bit of time today. And, well, let me give you a little clue as to what I spent my time doing today. I had a bin over here. I had one of these black bins all pre-built for quite some time now, 42 days now. Six weeks ago, I built the bin, just sitting here priming, getting ready to be used. And then what I did was I shredded some paper, bought in some leaves, and I actually split that nice six week old material that had just been sitting here so that I could have two bins. And any of you that have been around in my wormery before and you see one of these labels, chances are you already have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna be showing you next. Yep, that oldest bin of mine right here, 351 days of age, has already had its castings harvested using the light separation method and what you see here is really what remains I even picked out a lot of the large chunk items including a stem of a pumpkin over there as well as the cork and if you were to just move a little bit of this material off to the side you would already see that there's not a whole lot of castings material covering up what remains here pretty much all worms and I figured you know what before we launch them into their new home and get that bin started I even got my handy dandy scale over here I thought we would give these little guys a little measure before releasing them into their new home so I got my glove here all set to go I'm gonna get suited up we're gonna weigh the worms launch them into their new bin and and then that'll bring the end to a pretty busy day <laughs> Yeah, this stuff doesn't happen on its own. It took quite some time. So I just figured I'd spare you all the gory details and save you for the fun part. So let's get started. This container that we're going to be hauling the worms over into their new home with and using it to put them on the scale has already been put on the scale and the scale's been zeroed with the weight of this container factored in. So it's really just an ounce and a half. So we'll be able to automatically see that weight of this container deducted from what this is, whatever the weight of this is. And, you know, it's so tempting to maybe even try to get rid of some more of this castings material. It's just that I know there's a lot of little baby worms in the castings material. And that's the reason I kind of kept it all together, but, you know... I am kind of curious to see what kind of weight we're left with if we actually do deduct this extra material from around the pile of what's mainly worms. And then yes, there are going to be some worms remaining in that pile of stuff that I'm brushing off to the side. And I, I wasn't really going to exclude that from, you know, taking it with the worms to their new home. Figured a little bit of familiar material for them to have at their disposal as they're still settling into a somewhat sterile new home. So it's, um, I mean, you know castings, they've got some pretty good weight to them. So I figured if we were to be able to skim off a good bit of it, yeah, we're, we're still going to have a few worms hanging out in the stuff we just skimmed off, but not very many. Ooh. there we go so and there's still going to be a good bit of castings remaining with the worms when we put them on the scale it does seem like a nice idea to try to come up with a semi-accurate read on how many worms we're launching this worm bin with today and all this extra weight would have just been a little bit um a little bit of a deceiving extra weight 
And you can see there's a good number of little tiny worms hanging out in this stuff. But for the most part, we skimmed off castings only. And what we left behind was almost entirely worms. Yeah, there's still more castings. But not very many at this point. So I think that's close enough for government work, is the saying, right? So that if we start to bring over what's in this little pile here, what we should be left with is mainly worms. And I'm already trying to get a sense of just how many worms it is that we're going to be measuring here. It is tempting just to leave this remaining little bit of castings material behind too. Figure the little bit of castings material that's already kind of part of what we're weighing is probably equivalent to the number of worms we left behind here which should make it sort of a wash so once we introduce the worms that are still in here back in with the rest that might account for that little bit of extra weight that's in here of castings material so let's see let's bring the camera over so that we can get a nice view of how many worms it is that we're introducing into our new systems here. So what we're left with is just a little bit over a pound of worms. One pound, two ounces is what I believe that measure is right there. I'm not sure if the camera is going to be bringing it in. Is there a lot of glare? I think the camera can see that, right? And I guess just for kicks, I'm pressing the kilogram pound button there. So um, I guess that's what, half a kilo or thereabouts. So that's a pretty nice haul of worms if you ask me. I've got, um, I guess I've got to go get the, got to go get the other container. And perhaps what I'll do is I'll just dump over these nice castings. I don't know, it's very tempting just to take these castings and keep them with the, castings collection because I know that that castings collection is full of cocoons full of worms I missed and at some point I will be baiting the worms out of what remains over there so I won't be um, I won't be putting these castings that I just harvested uh, into storage quite yet I think I am going to leave it around as a cocoon nursery because I did see so many cocoons in the process so I um yeah, you know what? I'm just going to dump what's in this bus bin over into the box with the castings in it. And then we'll proceed to releasing the wormies. It's the moment of truth. Let's get this show on the road. So, I mean, there's really not much left to do. It's just introducing the wormies to their new home and then affixing the label to christen it as our newest bin. And at this rate, I guess it's most likely going to be the last bin of this year. It was, uh, I think, a little bit overly ambitious to think that I was going to be able to take three bins and do what I did to get these worms out of their old home. I kind of thought that I might be able to do the light harvest of three bins on a single day and then end up with basically three times as many worms as this, which would have been pretty impressive. <laughs> um, but I got no problem, you know, spreading the work out over, um, over a couple of days at this point, you know. So this is it. This is time to release one pound, two ounces, so basically 18 ounces of worms, into their new home. And I guess there's certain calculations that would tell you exactly how many worms it is that we're talking about here. And, you know, I think the general rule of thumb that most people go by is a thousand worms per pound. So, you know, two, two, uh, two sixteenths, one eighth, right? 
So technically this would be 1,125 worms if you were to go by that scale. So I don't know whether that's true or not. I do not know. So let's see them. Let's see how these wormies look and whether you agree it's the rough calculation, 1,125 worms. If you think it's more, you think it's less, I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts in terms of how many worms it is that we just released into this bin today. Don't forget, a lot of these worms are minute little tiny baby worms. So who knows? Maybe we're talking about twice as many worms. All right, here we go. All right, wormies, welcome to your new home. Let's make sure we don't leave any stuck to the container. <laughs> all right, I think we've got all of them here. I like to spread these guys out usually so they're not just in a big pile, preventing one another from making their way down into the new environment. Seems like if we spread them out, they all got a fair shot at being able to dive down into their new home and get cozy and get out of these bright lights. So let's give them a moment to get situated. I spent a few minutes getting my glove cleaned as well as removing all the worms from that plastic container that we moved them over here in. So I thought that we should probably return some of these in-progress items. There's a piece of corn cob here. There's this piece of um, stem of a pumpkin. And then there's the old cork. Goes back many years at this point. Another piece of corn cob here. And, you know, seems to me like we didn't really give all the worms a fair shot at making their way down into the bedding. <laughs> we have a little pile of worms here who kind of got obstructed from being able to dive down. Same thing here. Oh wow, pretty good sized pile. I figure let's give these last few little batches of worms a, a fair shake at making their way down into the bed too. And then we can really call it a day. Well, that didn't take very long. I still see a few minute little bitsy bitsy worms over here that haven't really made their way into the bed yet, but I think we're more or less done here. I think it's time to call it a day. I've got this fairly soaking wet top covering piece of paper. Let's get this on here. As well as this nice plastic covering which is going to help the system hang on to its moisture. I'm going to put it on fairly thoroughly so that things can stay nice and wet in here. I'm fairly certain I dampened all the freshly added materials. All the stuff that had been in here for six weeks already was nice and damp already. It's just all the stuff that I freshly shredded and everything. I really wanted to make sure it was really damp. So I put in a significant amount of moisture and I think the worms are going to appreciate it. So, you can see I've already cleaned off the um, the container that we had the leftover foods in. I've got my glove is more or less clean. There's only one more thing to do. One final order of business. And a lot of you probably already know what that is. <laughs> and that is to welcome this as our newest system in our wormery. Batch of Red Wigglers. And that's that. All right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always very much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.